Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. LSU's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. And you know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. They're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Wade Stadium, the second oldest Division 1A football stadium in the country. And now time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 he makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field Right around the 26 yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. Back 22, back 22. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Build up. Build up. Build up. Go, 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 go. And they make the stop around the 26 yard line. Mississippi State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. That'll make it fourth and ten. Long is the punter. Brought down at the 42-yard line. LSU staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 45. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Irby on the give. He's tackled at the 34. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Hey, we got Mike 50. Mike 50, yo. Ready! The pass is false and incomplete. Kevin was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and 10. Man left, man left. Brought 
down around the 21 yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 21 yard line. First down. They'll bring him down right around the 22 yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. He's down. That'll make it 35. And this play is number eight on the drive. Runs right for a nice game. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Tigers! And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners arrive at today's game ranked fifth in the nation. The Sooners unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 14-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 32. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football and knock that away from the receiver. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and down he goes at about the 33-yard line. That'll make it 39. Four down, four down. Back 22, back 22. Passes to his tailback again. He's taken down at about the 31. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Hardy, the return man. Hardy takes it at the 32. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 45. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. LSU is up by a touchdown. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 48. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. So at the end of one quarter, LSU leads it 7 0.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They come out in a five wide set. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it From their own 28 yard line. Second down. Coming to you, coming to you. Ready. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Got an opening. And he's taken down at the 47. He's in trouble. Fires out to his receiver. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and inches. 22 by 22. Check, 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 check. Nice run there. Run up the middle. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three. On the ground, left side. And he's tackled at the four. That's a loss of one yard. That makes his third and goal. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. 
And the goal line defense digging in here. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. And, Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Sooners come into this one ranked number five. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Oklahoma, they run the ball with attitude. A ground and pound attack that results in a touchdown. And for Douglas, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. Oklahoma has the edge 21 to 7. Middle of the second quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Bush has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's out to the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Looks to the back and can't connect. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. to his tight end. Nothing doing. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Holly awaiting the return. Holly fields it at the 27, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 46. He scrambles there for about eight yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Get him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and three. My 22, he's coming. 20, he's Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 47-yard line. A couple of yards that time on the screen. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. It's away. Short punt. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Gets it out quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And the 
and they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. He rifles it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line. middle to the running back. They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Catch first down, and he's knocked out. So we've played two quarters. We're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nessler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. gets rid of this one. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Tackled for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, blocking wasn't there, and down he went. the 47 yard line what a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down Three, 
from their own 47 yard line. First down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That's a team of 17. First down. From the 19-yard line. First down. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They run it left. The 10. Breaks the tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A nine-play, 66-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run to the outside. Taken down at the 28. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it 35. Hey, tight, tight. Mike 22, Mike 22. Ready there, Patriot, Patriot. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Hardy, the return man. They'll bring him down at the 49. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. LSU is up a score. There he goes. Makes it out to about the 36. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He might have a chance. Stanley picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. That brings him second and five.
Second and five coming up here. Ball in the 32. Throws it and it's tipped away. Third down. Release. Oh, had it knocked down. So they're going to go for it here. as you leave yourself vulnerable on one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a five-play, 50-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Taken from the three-yard line. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Stanley's consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's producing. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and how can you not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situations. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. Level at the 34 yard line. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. Six man. Check girls, check girls, check girls. My 22 is coming. Let's go. And he's taken down at the 45 yard line. Strike complete, he's down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 21-7. Tigers. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Key 15, key 15. Back 22, back 22. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. At the 44. That brings up second and nine. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. This is the ninth play of this drive. He fights forward to about the 46. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Throw 
is complete, but he's going to come up short. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they push him out at the 49-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Irby takes it left. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. From the 43 yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. And they'll get him in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike's 50. Mike's Just under three to go in regulation. at the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. of five there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Browning is waiting for the snap. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. LSU's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it, when they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires right side. Got his tailback. left gets it out to the halfback he's pushed out of bounds at the 33 yard line first and ten ball on the 33 yard line pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds looks like the defense played the run that time with this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation.
So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review of the, the play, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. A minute to go in the ball game. Come on. Mike 22, he's coming. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. Easy, easy, easy. Brings up second and goal. Under a minute left in the game. The spike will stop the clock. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Ready. Black. They'll knock him down for a loss. He's wrapped up for the sack. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. We're about set to start things up again. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Mississippi State will take their final timeout. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. over and our final score in this one 21 7 LSU that does it for this edition of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying so long